Hey, good morning. Let's go over today's trade plan. So in the overnight session, responsive buyers continued to be active at the 32 to 34 support zone that we had yesterday. And at this point, heading into the open, we are going to use 33 quarter to 35 quarter as the initial support. And then heading into the open, we have pre-market resistance at 43 half to 45. A breakout above that area would serve as a short-term bullish signal and bring the 49 to 51 area into play. That is a spot where responsive sellers can be active on first test, but if we're heading higher on broad market strength and sustained upside momentum, then the market does not have to stop at 49 to 51. And we could test the 56 to 58 half resistance zone where responsive sellers are more likely to be active on first test, especially if the market is exhausted into it. And then if the buyers can take out 58 half, that would serve as a bullish confirmation on the larger time frame. And from there, we can head up into 61.75 and eventually test and possibly even break the 65 quarter all time high. So in the event of a strong upside move off the open here, the 56 to 58 half area is really going to be key resistance. But technically, responsive sellers can even be active at 49 to 51. On the downside, below 33 quarter, 35 quarter, we have the next support zone at 25 quarter, 27 quarter. That also marks the balance area high volume node at 25 half and responsive buyers can defend there on first test. And the same goes for the support areas below at 1775 to 2620. And then we have larger time frame support at 2603.75 to 2605.75. Now, recently, we've seen a lot of weakness come into the NASDAQ, but in the overnight session, NQ tested the bottom of a larger time frame balance area and responsive buyers have been active in NASDAQ as well. So off the open, we'd like to see some strength come into NQ as well. And if we take a quick look at the NQ daily chart, you can see that NASDAQ tested the bottom of this larger time frame balance around the 6231 area and responsive buyers were active there. So given that NQ was exhausted into the bottom of its larger time frame balance, we would now want to see a pop back up towards the 6315 to 6320 area. And in the event that NASDAQ starts to put in a proper balance breakdown below 6231, that would be a short term bearish signal and it could weigh on the S&P as well. So switching back to the ES chart off the open, we'll be watching to see how the market responds to 43 half to 45. A breakout above that zone would bring 49 to 51 into play with potential to test 56 to 58 half where responsive sellers can be active on first test. And then on the downside, we have initial support at 33 quarter, 35 quarter. But if the market is going to put in some sort of short term reversal today, then ideally we don't even go back down into initial support. And in the event that we do go back down to initial support, we will have to assess the situation in real time to determine whether it's worthwhile to go long there. And that's where watching the NASDAQ can help as well. So those are the main ideas heading into the open. Let's see if the buy side can hold it together and we'll take it from there.